Happy Saturday. So um, I'm home from clients. I just want to, um, I'm gonna throw my hair into a top knot. So I'm just gonna show you guys how I do that really quick before uh, we head out. So here's my hair bungee. For those of you guys who always see me using a hair bungee, this is what it looks like. So I'm gonna hook this in right here and then wrap it all the way around. And I leave um, some hair out only because I don't like all my hair pulled away from my face. So then I'm just gonna hook this hair bungee in the other side and that's what a hair bungee looks like. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it just has two hooks on either side and then um, you just hook it right into your hair. And I just want this to look a little bit messy. I'm just gonna keep it like that. And then um, I'm just gonna throw this into a um, messy bun. So for me, obviously I have super thick hair because of these extensions, but this is a good little trick for um, anyone who doesn't have super thick hair and want to make their bun look a little bit fuller. Um, okay. So um, if you wanna leave pieces out in front, what I always recommend is doing like a triangle parting right here and then just kind of pulling out whatever you want because then it looks kind of a little more natural. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split my hair in two and then I'm gonna twist one side just like this. And bear with me because it involves a little bit of pinning without looking crazy. So I stretch that out a little bit and then I'm gonna wrap it around kind of like that and then I'm gonna pin. And I'm using my, um, let me see, hair pins. I would be using the blonde ones typically but because um, my blonde ones are in the car and my hair kit, I'm just gonna use the brunette. Okay, so I'm pinning just with some hair pins. The larger ones though because they tend to have a little more hold when you're doing something like this they kind of go all the way through the bun a little bit more okay so that is one part of the bun twisted around so I divided it in half and then pinned that now I'm gonna do the same thing with this so I'm gonna grab it all wherever it is hold it up and then I'm gonna twist just like this And you guys can do this all with like, you don't have to divide your hair in half in the ponytail. I'm just doing it um, because, let's see which way I want this to go. I want it to go like that. I'm doing it because it's a good way to create a little more fullness in your bun and have a little bit more, um, sorry, I had an itch, separation in the bun and make it look a little more intricate than like a standard, messy bun thrown up, but it still looks super textured and whatever. So obviously I know that my hair is way thicker because of the extensions, but this is um, a great way to make your buns look fuller when you do them, just by dividing your ponytail in half and then twisting one side, wrapping it around, stretching out and pinning it and then doing the same thing with the other. Um, so yeah, this was super quick, but I can do a full tutorial on this and then I go in once it's done and I just kind of stretch out and pin whatever I need to. Um, and like I said, my foundation is um, a hair bungee and um, that's it. So I left wispies out, sprayed some texture spray, and then what I'll do is um, I'll probably wrap like a hair scarf around it, if I can find one. Um, I don't mind that piece sticking out because I'm going to tie it anyway, so it's fine. Um, but yeah, if you guys are just joining, I just did like a quick bun top knot situation. Um, Basically, tied my hair up in a ponytail with a hair bungee and then split the ponytail in two, twisted one side around and then separated it and wrapped it around in kind of a circular motion, pinned it with hairpins, stretched it out a little bit more and then did the same thing with the other half. 
Um, and yeah, now I'm just gonna tie this in super loosely because I don't wanna like do it too tight to where the bun um, looks crazy. So there we go. And then let's stretch this out a little bit more. There, kind of wound up to sit up a little bit more. Um, but yeah, here you go. Super quick, easy, and uh, perfect for dirty hair if your hair is dirty. However, I did, if you guys watched my um, live yesterday, I did end up washing my hair. And uh, yeah, I filmed um, two more tutorials and those I have to edit, but I will be posting one today. And yeah, this was kind of like a super quick live. I didn't expect it to go that fast, but if you guys have any other questions, DM me. Um, I said yesterday, but I'll say it again. I am working on a YouTube channel. It's not gonna be anything um, like amazing, but it's just gonna be a place where basically I can upload these lives and slower versions of my other tutorials on my page. So once that is going, I will post about it and you guys can go and subscribe. Um, have a good Easter and have a good weekend. Oh, hang on. Can you use a regular ponytail instead of a hair bungee? Yes, 100%. I just prefer the hair bungees because I like everything to kind of keep its volume and texture. And sometimes when I pull it through, in a ponytail because of all the extensions it tends to flatten out my hair a little bit more so that's why i prefer a hair bungee but um yeah you can totally do this with a ponytail or an elastic all right you guys happy easter have a good weekend see you soon